good evening everyone first i would like to introduce myself i am dr mohammad mesbauddin and at present i am working as a professor of anatomy in kumudini women's medical college which is a private medical college present in bangladesh i love history and i love anatomy and today i want to correlate these two things i will not uh, talk about the proper history of anatomy rather i will talk about the you know origin of some anatomical words so my topic is the etymologies that is origin of anatomical words definitely anatomical etymologies and not all the words we will search for some curious or interesting words that are present in anatomy so the topic of my presentation is the interesting anatomical etymologies i want to start my presentation with this common phrase very common you are cordially invited you know cordially i have put a different color and i have made this enlarge why because i have focused on it actually we all know the word cordial that does mean heart so you are hearty welcome actually you are cordially invited so i will start with the etymology of the heart our very much vital organ heart actually is an old english word that has come from the uh, word hearty and this is a very much you know the lemas term or general term everyone knows about it but you have to know as a medical student while learning anatomy you have to know two other terms that also means heart so you know this one is the core we have started you are cordially invited so this cord is actually coming from the latin root and uh, core means heart and another one more technical one is the cardia that has a greek origin let us find out the structures which are present in our anatomy anatomy of the heart uh, that have core or cardia in it let's start with the core veni cordis minim you know the core is there that is the cordis that does mean heart so the tiny minute veins that are present in the wall of the heart we call this the veni cordis minim another structure incisura epicis cordis actually it is a point it is a slight indentation near the apex of the heart so incisura that does mean an indentation apices near to the apex or apex cordis means heart now we know cord cordis that does mean heart bulbus cordis while studying development of anatomy you will find that the primitive heart tube has a bulbous upper end that looks like a bulb dilated portion so this bulbous portion of the heart is known as the bulbus cordis so these things the cord latin origin that means heart on the other hand we already mentioned this is more technical more widely used uh, the covering of the heart you know this is known as the pericardium we also know myocardium endocardium and all these things the nerve supply of the heart you know the sympathetic parasympathetic they will meet with each other to form a plexus we call this the cardiac plexus while studying the venous drainage of anatomy you will find the great cardiac vein middle cardiac vein and all these veins so cardiac veins and you are going to doctor of heart heart doctor you are searching for a heart doctor he is actually a cardiologist so this is more technical term than the core and the heart so while studying anatomy you will have to know all of this here just uh, look carefully we have mentioned the nerves of the heart veins of the heart that is cardiac cardiac what about the arteries of the heart you know the coronary arteries the coronary arteries what does it mean coronary you will find the coronary arteries supplying the heart right and left coronary arteries we know fine but the word coronary you will also find in the liver coronary ligaments maybe a, the liver is very much nearer to the heart so the coronary has core in it it may uh, have the same meaning that is heart but you will find the coronary ligaments in the knee joint too and knee joint has nothing to do with the heart so leave it out the coronary does not mean heart so what does it mean let's find it out 
you know the coronary actually not coming from the word cor rather it is coming from the word corona corona means crown and the word you know coronation that does mean crowning of the king or queen this is the picture of the queen elizabeth just second and she was crowned and that is coronation occurs in 1953 so this is corona that does mean crown not heart cor means heart corona means crown that is the difference so how these coronary ligaments or the crown ligaments is related to the liver let's see you know the superior and inferior layer or anterior and posterior layer of the coronary ligaments it looks like if it is the liver uh, the right lobe of the liver it looks like something in encircling over the right lobe of the liver like a crown so it is named coronary ligament or crown ligaments let's see it in the heart the right and left coronary artery at the upper end they will also encircle the heart if you put the heart like this and you see the yellow portion this is the right coronary artery and a branch of the left coronary artery will meet posteriorly and ultimately it looks like something encircling over the heart so it is known as the crown artery of the heart or the coronary artery of the heart you know this corona also you will find when you will find while studying the developmental anatomy you may find the word corona radiata so the cells looks like crown making a crown and radiating from somewhere so this corona radiata you see in the picture in the surrounding the secondary oocyte and zona pellucida this is known as the corona radiata cells the cells radiating like a crown and the same term corona radiata you will find in the a uh, nervous system that is in the brain in the cerebrum the white matter or fibers uh, that is coming out from the cerebral cortex and these fibers looks like a crown and it is known as the corona radiata one fun fact this is the word heart h e a r t and if you scramble this word actually rearrange these uh, letters uh, of the heart H E A R T. That's a bad term, hater. But again, rearrange it again. H E A R T, and this is a better one, the R. You know. So we have finished the heart. We have many things to learn from the heart. The etymologies again, heart. You must be thinking why I am going for the heart again. Actually, this is a colorful heart, and anatomy is a very much colorful subject. and let's find out some colors in anatomy we we'll start with the white color alba uh, can you name any structure uh, that has alba in it yes linea alba that is present in the midline of the abdomen formed by the aponeurosis of the flat muscles of the abdomen and this line is known as the linea alba the white line the alter alba you will find within the ovary the corpus luteum uh, while degenerating it will form some white scar tissue fibrous tissue that is known as the corpus albicans that is white body corpus means body and albicans means white so nice is not it and you see the bird that is the large seabird what do you call it albatross a white seabird albatross and the pigmentation of the skin it is known as the albinism let's go into the black one the niagara black and there is a substance in the midbrain of our central nervous system the substantia niagara that is the black substance so the terms negro also you know have the same origin same root and here in this picture if we we'll find two famous black men or negroes two famous sportsmen in the world muhammad ali and pele rubra means red okay we have a, a rubra nucleus or red nucleus in the midbrain also so this is known as the red nucleus but not the rubra but anything that is coming out or coming into the or from the red nucleus this fibers will be termed as the rubra like this one from the midbrain to the spinal cord this tract 
is known as the rubrospinal tract, red nucleus to spinal cord. And you know, the rubella virus or the German measures, rubella, just uh, focus on the rubella. It has the origin from the rubra, that is red. So rubella, that does mean the reddish rash in the skin you will find. And the uh, ruby, same root, the rubra or red, because it is a red stone. So this is known as the ruby. Let's go for the, another one, lutea. That does mean orange, yellow, or yellowish, something like that. Corpus luteum, you have probably heard the name, corpus luteum, that is yellow body. And while you are studying the retina, you know, the eyeball and the retina and all these things, you'll find a structure which is known as the macula lutea. So this macula lutea, macula means spot. Lutea means yellow, so yellow spot. So what you will get, get the word lutea, that does mean yellow. Alba means white. Rubra means red. Nigra means black. Flabba means yellow also. So like the ligament of flabba. So you'll find many colors in anatomy. Oh, now let's see what is the importance of learning etymology in anatomy while studying anatomy. It is very much important. I've already mentioned while studying the carpal bones, uh, when the carpal bones are separated and pr the professor asks you to, to name the car carpal bones individually, then don't be scared, actually. Just remember the uh, name of the carpal bones according to its etymology. That is the shape of the car carpal bones. Let's see it out. Number one, scaphoid. Scaphos means boat. So it is named the scaphoid. I am like a boat shape. So my name is scaphoid. I am a lunar shape, half moon shaped. So my name is lunate. I have three corners or three angles. My name is triquetral. Tri means three. Quetral means angle. I am P shaped. So my name is pisiform. And next to bones, you know, these are trapezium in shape. So we are named as trapezium and trapezoid. One is bigger, one smaller one. I have a head. So my name is Capitet. You know, Capitet, Cap, Capital, the head of the state. So all having the same term, that is the Cap or head, Capitet. And Hamet, I have a hook. So I have come from the Latin word hamulus or hamet, having a hook like this. So, you know, while having a hook, it is hamet. Having a head, it is capitated. Having board shape, I'm a scaphoid like this. So my message is that while studying anatomy, make it more comprehensive, make it more simple and make it more interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.